couple of Capricorns. Going to look into your situation, what your person's thinking, feeling, um, if they're going to take action to, or if they're likely to take action towards you in the next couple of weeks or so. Just whatever the cards want to say. The last reading I got for you guys, which which was a couple of weeks ago, um, the energy of um, someone spying, someone doing some low-key digging to find the truth out. There is some sort of passive secretive energy regarding you and another person. So someone's someone might be trying to ask friends um, how you feel, or they might be trying to to catch you in the act. Like they might they're they're trying to get some answers, but they're not confronting you directly about it. So take it as it resonates. But let's see what the current story is. Six of Cups. So someone's feeling nostalgic. Ten of Pentacles. Eight of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. Hmm. This is interesting energy. Clarify this. Clarify this spread for me, please. I'm going to put these over here a little bit so I can make some room. Clarify this spread for me. Six of Cups is all about nostalgia. Three of Swords, okay. Hi, Priestess. Empress, okay. Could be a third party situation and there's two intuitive um women or two intuitive men that um kind of know there's something not right about this situation because i almost feel like the high priestess and the empress are i don't know if they're like friends or if they're connecting but there's almost there's just some sort of energy here where it feels like there's two these two energies are like on each other's side and then there's someone that's not to be trusted is this is this the energy of someone using you financially? Okay. So this could just be a quick message for a few of you in particular, but I kind of feel like someone is going to pretend to be nostalgic because they see that you're coming into abundance and it's going to lead to heartbreak though if you go down that path. Again, I think this is just for a few of you. I don't think this is for very many of you. So I'm going to just tell this story really quick and then pull a new spread for the majority of you. But yeah, it feels like someone's going to come in and pretend to be nostalgic and pretend to want to start like a new life with you. Um, but I feel like it's going to lead to heartbreak. This feels like some kind of third party situation is what I'm getting here. Like, it just feels toxic to me. And then it ends with the Three of Swords. So I feel like if someone comes, if you're doing well financially, or if you're, again, this is probably just for a few of you. If you're coming into money or you're starting to do well financially or you're starting to be recognized publicly more, it's like this person wants you, but they want you for the wrong reason. So it's like they want you because you're financially stable or they want you because other people want you now like it's it's like the grass is greener on the other side now kind of energy but it just leads to heartbreak so you need to you need to, there's someone that you can trust about this situation like someone might have warned you about this person cuz there's two very two intuitive empathic people could be male or female and it's just saying like trust this person you know what i mean like if someone's warning you about this energy about your ex like trust them it's also saying i feel like if this is a third party situation like it's saying don't blame the other woman blame your man because the other woman is not loyal to you she doesn't know you um blame your man he's the one that's supposed to be loyal to you like women always i mean like men and women like when they get in third party situations they never blame their partner they always blame the other person instead and it's like, why, why? Like that person doesn't owe you anything. They don't owe you any loyalty. It's your partner that's supposed to be responsible and loyal to you. Take it up with them. And it's totally possible that this other person, and this could be male or female. This could be two men that need to form an alliance here 
and be honest with each other. Um, or someone maybe has a secret that they want to tell you about this person, but they haven't come forward with it yet. Um, so it could be two men or it could be two women, uh, either way. But it feels like two very intuitive, empathic people that need to form an alliance here um, to protect each other from someone else. So I feel like this could be a third party situation where you're kind of starting to, you know, it, it's like you're starting to hate the other person. That's, you know, you, you see it as they're taking away your person like they, you know what I mean? Instead of blaming the person that's cheating on you, you're blaming the third party. But it's like the third party might not even know about you. Like, this person might be playing both of you. So that's the thing. Um, the the per, this like There might be cheating involved, but the person might not even know about you. Or they might know about you, but they might be being told that the connection is, like, over. Or that you guys are in an open relationship. Or there's some there's just some kind of, like, lies and deception here that needs to come out. And this person holds the truth. So you guys need to form an alliance and be open with each other. Because you guys might be in for a surprise, I feel. Um, yeah. So it's kind of saying like, don't blame the other person in this. If you're, if your partner's cheating or your partner's, you know, going behind your back, like don't blame the other person for that. The other person might not even know about you. They might, um, be being told that you guys are in an open relationship. They might, you know, like they're being lied to and it's like, don't, and they don't have any loyalty to you anyway. It's like I said, it's like your partner is the one that's supposed to be loyal to you. So there's some kind of alliance here that you need to form so you can get some truth and clarity. I think that's just for a few of you. And I'm going to pull some more cards and see what else I can get just for the majority of you. Because I think that, yeah, it was just a very specific message that wanted to come through here. Capricorn, okay. What else is it? What's the story here? The star. Queen of Pentacles reversed. Death. Death is just an ending. It doesn't mean it's not it's it's not like physical death. It just means it's like a transformation. Something's coming to an end. Justice. Okay. So I feel like You've been planting seeds, but I feel like something needs to come to an end for these se these seeds to really grow into something. Because it's like you're not the queen of pentacles. And again, it could be male or female, king or queen of pentacles. You're just not in your power. Like the king or queen of pentacles is someone who's, it's like they're loyal, they're stable, they're grounded. Um, I could also take this to be um, an unstable um you know, toxic, codependent, um, financially unstable also kind of energy here. I could take it to be that as well. I also just see it as you, like you're not in your abundance. You know what I mean? Like you could be successful and stable, but something else is dragging you down. So it's like you're planting these seeds, but there's some energy that's kind of keeping you stuck so you can't reach your full potential. And that energy needs to come to an end. And when it does, you're going to be more in touch with your heart chakra with your emotions you're going to be yourself again your your empathic intuitive king or queen of cups your empathic intuitive um you know um psychic uh open-hearted you know self again and you're going to have justice coming in so this person that kept you down is probably going to have a, a pretty rough dose of um karma coming their way soon Something, something's going to come to light is what I feel. There's some kind of situation. I'm trying to remember what I got in the last spread. Cause I mean, I know that the couple of weeks ago when I did your reading, I was getting someone spying, someone's doing some low key digging to find the truth. There's some kind of passive secretive energy. I got confused for a minute there because I feel like there's actually two. This was originally just one energy group of Capricorns that I was channeling, but I think it's two different energy energy groups of Capricorns that I'm channeling now. So I'm going to tell both stories and both stories might apply to you. Like if I'm, if there's something I'm missing, cause sometimes energy is tricky like that. So maybe I'm, I'm missing parts of the story. If 
if you guys could clue me in on what's going on because maybe I'm maybe I'm misunderstanding something. I got a little bit confused with the cards that I just pulled because the last reading I got was a very positive reading overall and this was more of like a toxic energy that I'm feeling but it feels like the same person. It doesn't feel like a different person. It feels like feels like the same person but maybe two different energy groups if that makes sense because a lot the reading I did a couple weeks ago I was getting someone spying and do, doing some low-key digging to find the truth like they're kind of passive and secretive but it's it's the story of this secret admirer that I've been channeling over the past month or two who's like a shy sweet boy or girl next door type um and they've been kind of trying to get your attention but they feel like you're too busy for them or like you might not be interested and they try to put themselves out there, but then they feel rejected um, and they kind of get confused. Like, so they're, they're trying to get your attention. They just don't know how. They don't know if you're interested. They're not good at picking up the hints. Um, and then this energy is a little bit, it's just a little bit different. So I'm wondering, did you guys go through some, some energy shifts in the last couple of weeks? Like, what is this that I'm picking up? It's really interesting. This is a definitely an interesting story we're telling here, but I don't try to wrap my head around it because it's a lot different than what I, usually there's like a continuation, you know what I mean? And this is a lot different than the story I was getting a couple of weeks ago. But the one thing I'm thinking is that possibly there's two different energy groups. So for some of you, is a secret admirer that's um watch you know like I said they're watching you they're shy though they feel rejected they're they're trying to do some digging to figure out the truth um and then I feel like there's a second energy group that's maybe just come into this into into this set of Capricorns um into into this collective you know the collective uh, Capricorn videos and you're the one that's doing the digging you're the one that's trying to find the truth about how someone feels about you because maybe someone's kind of keeping you in the dark, kind of being passive, secretive, um, not letting you know how they feel. Like maybe you kind of suspect that they might be cheating or that they might have something else going on. And so you're digging for the truth, but you might not like what you find, unfortunately, is kind of the energy because we got a very toxic energy there of um, someone that's kind of using you, something that needs to end. So, so yeah, two different energy groups. One's a positive story of a secret admirer. And then there's this other energy group that's, that you're the one that's doing the digging and you might, um, not like what you see, but take it how it resonates. There's basically just what I'm getting is the energy of someone trying to find out the truth, be it you or another person. Someone's really being passive and secretive and, and trying to figure some things out right now is, is basically overall what I'm feeling. Maybe for some of you, the secret admirer might be trying to break you and your person up and you think it's because they want your person, but they actually want you. There could be a gay or lesbian relationship here because I'm getting, I don't know, because I feel like the, the empress and the high priestess, like, it's like two women or two men, I feel, that really can form some kind of alliance here is what I'm getting. It's like there's there's two different energy. There's one energy that's trying to tell you the truth that you can trust, and then there's another energy or, or an energy that has the truth for you that you need to seek out. Um, and then there's another energy that's kind of toxic and keeping you in the dark. This could be maybe something. Does something happen with a secret admirer recently? Like is there like a... Um, like some kind of negative third party or something that got thrown into the mix. I don't know. Well, I'm going to look into that group now. So, okay, so for those of you that this is a secret admirer, what is the story? The Fool. Ace of Cups. So it's a good story. Strength. Eight of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. So it's like you're this person's muse. I'm kind of wondering, because it's like this person wants to come through with a love offer, but it's requiring strength. I'm wondering if there's, is there some trauma that they're dealing with right now? For some of you, it feels like the, the secret admirer might have like a karmic that's causing drama for them, and they're trying to get with you and leave that situation, but it's kind of toxic. Um... 
Or you could be in that situation with a karmic that's causing drama, but you're trying to get away from that to be with a secret admirer. There's something, there's some kind of truth, though, with the, the high priestess and the empress. There's some kind of truth that you guys can, like, they know something about this situation that you don't know, and you need that truth from them. You know what I mean? Or, like, maybe they recognize something, like, maybe they recognize that you're not happy and you don't even realize, fully realize what's going on, but they can, they can just see through you. There's some kind of truth there. I feel like a couple of you are bisexual and you're with, um, I feel like there's a couple bisexual women in this group and you're with a man right now, but your, your, your true love is actually a woman. Um, cause I got the high priestess and the empress and I don't know the full details. I just feel like it's, this is such tricky energy. It's usually more clear, but this is kind of a confusing spread. So I'm guessing, I guess I'm getting all mixed up energies here. I don't know what's going on with you guys. It's intense, whatever it is. Um, any insight would be appreciated because I there's a lot of different energies in this spread that I, I usually don't get that many different energies like this. Um, but yeah, there's some kind of alliance and this alliance will bring you truth and clarity, I feel. Yeah, because it feels like the... So for the secret admirer, it feels like they want to move forward. They want to make a love offer and they have to be strong and they're trying to do it quickly and they might be... Um, This could almost be like a third party situation where like the karmic is like your person. Does that make sense? This energy is crazy. I don't even know what's going on here. Eight of wands. Yeah, someone's moving in quickly, it feels like. But there's, I don't know, I just feel drama. I feel like there's, what is going on with you guys? There's like drama and chaos. Like I don't get it. Is your, is your secret admirer going through drama? Are you going through drama? Like what is happening here? energy is nuts I can usually tell what I'm reading like I can never not tell what I'm reading like but this is this is weird like this is like what the hell is this what what is this what's happening tower three of wands reverse ten of pentacles the hermit it's telling you to protect your finances right now for sure there's might there's just an energy of someone that's like not trustworthy and they might come back around um this might this feels like an unexpected energy because I was not getting this energy before so it almost feels like for a lot of you this might be like a toxic ex or something that sees you doing well and they want to pop back up suddenly because they they want some money or they want some support or they want something from you or they see that you're moving on from them there's some kind of and maybe the secret admirer is like protecting you from that energetically like maybe this is and it feels like a new energy that's come up or coming up for you guys it's really strange god what the what is this spread Six of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, there's something about someone like some kind of toxic person that's like not even communicating with you or not showing their emotions. But now they miss your generosity. So it's like they're coming in like, you know, with this nostalgic kind of energy, like missing, you know, they, they know they had it good. You might be choosing between, oh my gosh, this freaking energy. Can you guys please comment below and tell, like, tell me what I'm, seeing here because this my readings are usually not all over the place like this usually it's a very clear direct story these are like all kinds of it almost seems like someone's like doing black magic to confuse things because this is just like straight chaos like it almost seems like like a karmic's trying to like do black magic to get you back or something i don't know it's weird not for all of you but for some of you um is this, are these two? Okay, I think that's why I'm getting thrown off because I think I'm feeling two different energies here. I feel like there's someone that's just gotten thrown into the mix all of a sudden. Like either your your secret admirer might have a karmic that just came back out of nowhere that they were not expecting or you might have a karmic coming back out of nowhere that you just were not expecting. So I think that's why I'm getting all these mixed energies because there's something, some kind of chaos just got thrown into this mix and I'm like, dude, what? This is not like the happy, I mean, it's not like a bad reading or anything, but it's just, it's a lot. It's very intense. You guys got a lot going on right now, whatever this is. 
Um, and if this is your story and you want a private read, I can always channel like individual people more clearly because it's just, it's one story. You know what I mean? Like I'm looking at you and your person and how they feel, what they want in the relationship. I can look at multiple people too. If you have two potential love, love interests, I can look at both of them, look at the potential that's there. I can look at how they're feeling, what they're wanting, um, you know, who's trustworthy, whatever you want to know, really. So, so if this is your story and you want a private reading, just email me. It's, it's, um, my email is in the description box below. It is dragonenchantress at AOL.com. You can just copy and paste it from the description box right below this video. Gosh, is this? Yes, yeah, some kind of tower moment has either just taken place or it's about to take place. Like, just some kind of chaos all of a sudden where you're like, like what? Like what the hell is this? Page of Pentacles. Yeah, so you have a new start with finances and you need to protect that because there's someone in your life that wants to take that from you or they want to um Yeah, like you're about to be in the public eye and you've worked hard for this. You've bled for this. So this could be like a promotion, this could be starting a new job. Um, or like a, living in a new place, some kind of some kind of new energy coming in for you regarding finances, career, stability, and you need to protect it because there might be someone toxic coming back around that's um, wanting a piece of that. If you just started talking to someone too, maybe this ex is feeling that, and they're either on your end or your person's end, they're they're wanting to block it, but they can't, I don't think. But still, something to be aware of at least, you know. Yeah, so you know how to be financially stable, but you need to get out of the Eight of Swords energy where it's like you're looking at the swords all around you and there's an opening right right out right in, out in front of you and with your castle, your home, your abundance. It's possible that the swords around you are a person and it's like you're focusing on this drama. You're getting stuck in this drama and you need to like wake up and realize you can just walk out of this and free yourself and, and go on to your abundance. But it's like something's keeping you stuck in this energy. It really feels like you and your secret admirer were like take like it was moving. It was moving forward and either someone just came back into your life or or someone just came back into their life and it's a toxic energy. It's not a good energy that's come back into their life, but it feels like it just feels like something's gotten like thrown off all of a sudden. Page of cups. Queen of Pentacles reversed, 8 of cups. Yeah, there's more deceptive energy here, but there's good energy with the um, the secret admirer, but there's someone else that's not not such a great energy, though. It's almost like this person keeps seducing you into starting a new life with them, and you have to, like... Like, they want you back now that you're, like, moving on. You know what I mean? Like, you're dating someone or you're trying to date someone that's not your usual type. And maybe you're noticing the secret admirer more. And this person crawls back. And it's like, no, what about me? And what about our life together? It's like, you need to let it go. You know what I mean? And it's also possible that you're still struggling to let go of someone. But, like, you're going to, in the near future, have someone, like, that's sweet and loving come in. And then the karmic that you just, that you're letting go of right now comes back around and tries to seduce you. And it's like, you need to be strong. They're just trying to seduce you because they want something from you and because they don't want anybody else to have you. Yeah, this is a toxic person. This is like a king of swords or like a queen of swords, which can be good depending on the context of the spread. But in this context, I take it as a negative, like someone that's overly logical, harsh, not attached to their emotions. You have justice again. So this person that's trying to block your abundance and trying to block you from having love, trying to stop you from leaving them, it's going to end. Like this situation is going to end and they're going to be left alone. And they're the ones to blame for that. They did it to themselves, you know, and you're going to have justice. You're going to have that, that love coming in with someone else. But um, I really feel I really feel like the energy of like maybe like a bisexual relationship for some of you. It's like some of you are, are bisexual women and you're with a man, but your true love is actually a woman because the high priestess and the empress, again, cannot emphasize enough. There's some kind of power couple there or like at least a very strong friendship. You know what I mean? I think it's kind of saying like if you get a warning from someone, like if someone messages you and says like. Like, if your toxic ex comes around or if you're still with the toxic ex and you're trying to get out of this energy and be with the secret admirer, someone who's more of, like, a sweet, loving boy or girl next door type, I think it's saying, um, like, 
trust this person. They're not just trying to cause drama. Like if you get a message and they're like, like, you know, your, your boyfriend or, you know, your girlfriend's been talking to me too, right? Like they're not just trying to stir up drama. They're actually being honest with you and trying to warn you and protect you. So blame the person that's doing the cheating or that's, that's hurt you in the past, whatever the situation is. Don't blame the person that's, um, warning you about that. You know what I mean? Like they, they might not have even known about you. There's some kind of shocking truth that's about to be revealed. I get that energy so strong. There's some kind of shocking truth. Like they're doing some, someone's doing some digging and they're about to find out the truth. Like maybe this is the secret admirer and they're about to find out like maybe this karmic is trying to come back around in your life. And the, the secret admirer is about to find out about it. Or like friends are about to tell them, like maybe you're kind of entertaining two people, you're not sure. Um, or it could be vice versa. It could be that they have a car toxic karmic coming back around in their life. But the secret admirer is like wanting you, but there's some, there's just some chaos. It's such, God, this energy, this reading is so freaking weird. Can you guys please comment below and tell me what I'm feeling here? Because I don't know what the hell this is. I'm just, I'm just, it's like all over the place. I'm like... Are you guys this confused? Like, is someone, like, doing some magic to confuse you? Like, what in the hell? Are there, are there just, is there that much, maybe, maybe, is there that much going on in your life? Is there, like, two or three different people just coming at you out of nowhere? Like, what the, what the freaking shit? It's so weird. It's so weird. Yeah, it's, it's. It almost feels like someone's going to make you a love offer, but it's not legit. It feels it feels like they're doing it for the wrong reasons. And I feel I really feel like things are moving with the secret admirer or the secret admirer is, is getting the courage up to ask you out or something's happening with the secret admirer. And now this toxic ex is like, oh, hell no. Like they want you back now. Yeah, there's some kind of third party situation here. I just don't know if it's you or the other person that's got a third party. You know what I mean? I don't know if you're entertaining two people or if they are. Okay, this is crazy energy. Ah! Temperance, find a balance. Sorry, I just randomly screamed at my cards because I don't know what this is. <laughs> you guys are in some weird crap right now. I'm not going to lie. Okay. So there could be a queen of swords that's toxic and then a queen of wands that's positive, male or female. Like, could be an air sign and a fire sign. Could be the, the air sign is toxic and the fire sign is positive for you. And they're moving forward. They're moving forward. Yeah, it's like there's, okay, so this is, God, I know this is crazy reading. I'm sorry. If you guys stay with me, okay? I will try to, once I hear from you guys, I'll, maybe I'll, hopefully I'll have some clarity on what's going on because this is, this is, I don't know what kind of energy shift you guys are going through or about to go through, what kind of truth is being revealed, some kind of shocking truth. This is, this is some weird energy. So I don't know what this is. If I can get some clarification from you guys, actually, that would be. I know the psychic is not supposed to ask for clarification, but I don't know what the hell is going on with you guys. This is some weird energy here. Um, but yeah, it kind of feels like two love offers. And again, I don't know if it's your... It's either you have two love offers, like the secret admirer seems like the positive one. It seems like the one you want to go for, but you might have a toxic ex coming back around trying to use you financially and kind of confusing things. They might be manipulating you and confusing things because this is very confusing, strange energy. So they might be trying to like make you question and doubt your own emotions so that you don't go for the secret admirer. Um, or this could be someone that's doing it like telepathically or like they're thinking about coming in because they kind of sense that you're about to start a new life without them. Uh, it's a, oh God, this is weird energy. Such weird energy. But, so, okay, so yeah, so it's either it's either you and you have this toxic ex that's either just come back around or they're, or they're you know, currently around. Um, they're, I don't, I don't know who this is, but... It's like there's two love offers, you know, and one of them is just for the wrong reasons. Like one of these love offers is just someone wanting your money or someone not wanting anyone else to have you. And then the second love offer from the secret admirer is someone that actually um, wants you. 
You know what I mean? Like the secret admirer actually like genuinely wants you for the right reasons. Um, could be someone in your energy field that you're just starting to notice, or it could be the opposite where it's your person, your, your secret admirer has a toxic karmic coming around and they don't really want them back, but it's, it's a lot of drama and they're trying to figure things out. There's some kind of shocking truth that's going to be revealed is what I'm feeling. So anyway, like I said, if you want a private reading, my email is below in the description box. Just shoot me an email. Um, any donations are appreciated, even just a dollar. It really adds up quickly. And my PayPal and my Cash App is below. And if it resonates, please subscribe. Again, please comment below and let me know what the hell this is. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching.